Today on the Automation Minute, we're going to take a look at a question that a reader left over at theautomationblog.com. Now, if you want to see the original article in q and I'll put the link in the description. But basically, Carlos, a couple of weeks ago, he said he liked the article. This was one that our uh, freelancer Paul wrote about time as encounters in the Mitsubishi. And he says, hey, do you have any way to put these timers back to zero, you know, based on a condition? And I was kind of scratching my head on this one because... You know, in the IEC 61131-3 standard, actually, I just covered this last month in my Siemens S7 course. Um, that's how the TA1 works, right? The timer on delay instruction. Doesn't matter if you use an Allen Bradley or Siemens. I mean, this is part of the PLC standard, 61131-3. When the run goes false, the TON, the elapsed time or accumulate value, goes to zero. That's just how they work. So, of course, there are retentive timers, right? And retentive timers, you either have on the block itself a place to put in a, you know, maybe some contacts or just a, a bit to reset your accumulate or your elapsed time, depending on which control you're using. And, um, of course, with Rock, well, we have the reset instruction. But, um, yeah, so really it was just really pushing this guy to say, hey, look, part of the standard is these timers will automatically reset when the rung goes false. So you can just put whatever your condition is on the rung. And I'll reset them. So I thought that was an interesting question. I was kind of, maybe this person isn't uh, well versed in PLCs. So I just wanted to share that with you. And, um, you know, if you have your own questions, you can put them on any of the articles up there at the automation blog. There's a question link if you want to send, submit them to us. And on that link, like it says on that page, we can't guarantee to answer all your questions. I still have many that have come in that I haven't touched. But, um, you know, we, we don't even have a chance at answering them if you don't send them in. Now, if you want, you really need to an answer to a question, you can always join automation.locals.com. I answer every single question that comes in there from supporters. Also, of course, if you're one of my students at the automation school, I answer all questions that come in. So if you take the control logic class, have a question, I do everything in my power to answer all the questions. Even if it's outside the scope of the course, I'll try to put you in the right direction. So, because uh, I don't want to leave anybody stranded. But in any case, I want to thank you for watching this episode. I hope you found it helpful or entertaining at least. And I just want to wish you a very happy, safe, and healthy week. And until next time, my friends, peace.